Hey guys, Steve here with Revive, and here's a long overdue update on how my training is going. And here's just some clips of my squat session that I recently had. And this is a six to eight rep set. I'm doing three sets. My volume is very low at the moment. And squats recently haven't been feeling totally great. Uh, if you notice on these squats, my bar path is not straight up and down, and it's really starting to, f I'm starting to feel it. I mean, a s form errors are never a good thing, but when everything has to be a bit more precise, when you're cutting down, when you haven't got as much energy to expend, wasting it by changing that bar path, obviously when I come down, it kind of comes forward. Uh, I have a lot of forward lean, and I can't seem to sit back so well. So here is then some deadlifts. This is 212.5 kilograms, and I've got five. Again, um, I'm going to show you something here in a sec on one of these reps in slow motion where you can see my hips shooting up, and then I'm just pulling, uh, not using them as effectively as I should be, using my hamstrings. Um, so this set here, if you look, I come down to the bar. I try and get that chest up a bit. But I don't get it up high enough because then my hips then shoot up there and then I start lifting. Um, so I really need to get that tighter. Uh, any tips from anyone would be great. I will be looking over my form in greater detail and looking into Mark Ricketo's starting strength. Just see what he says in there. Um, because it's obviously creating another inefficiency with this lift. Especially because I'm actually quite still quite strong with all of my lifts. Um, it would be nice to actually progress because... These are still at a point where they're stronger than when I started, uh, finished my bulk actually. So I'm still stronger than when I finished. Um, here I just wanted to show you a small clip of what my arms are looking like. Um, this kind of just give you an idea of my conditioning. Um, not crazy lean, but definitely lean. Um, when I'm doing this as well, you kind of see sour iterations, my chest, and it's just quite a nice different area to see of me rather than just doing some big lifts. Um, I only actually work my arms uh, once a week um, with one exercise, three sets. So I'm not doing hardly any uh, actual bicep work. So here's another set of squats. And again, I'm going to show you this incredible forward lean by putting in slow motion here. See, so yeah, I come down and I definitely come way forward. If I could show you with, an, with a drawing on the video, you could see... Obviously, my bar path is not very efficient. And there's something I am going to quickly do with these is when I get to the top, I don't step myself back, I don't get my foot back, I just kind of come straight down. And um, that, I can imagine, would be fine with an Olympic squat, but with these, I really need to set my hips back so then I can sit in between my legs. So that's just some training that has been going on. So I haven't actually been losing or gaining strength at the moment, I've kind of just been maintaining. For example, on my deadlift, the max I got was that 230 kilogram set for three, and ever since I got that, I haven't been able to replicate it. So I brought it down by 10 kilograms, I've just been building it up by increments. So for about the last three weeks, I've been getting 220 kilograms for, uh, for three, and I've just been adding 1.25 to that, so it'll be 212. Uh, 222.5 um, coming up for my next ones and that seems to be working well just building coming kind of, kind of building yourself back down to bit, then build up again and uh, not by a crazy amount but just by enough to make a bigger difference so that the weights don't feel terrible um, if I could get my I know I'm doing about so currently my best uh, deadlift squat and bench that I've achieved during my cut is 117.5 times 5 for bench, 170 kilograms of squat by 5, and then 230 kilograms for the deadlift times 3. And the only lifts that have come down is my bench, which is currently at 212.5 for 5. My squat has remained level at that at 170, it hasn't come down, but like I said recently, I've been feeling some niggles with that, which isn't great. And then my deadlift is at 222.5 for three at the moment. So my strength is really kind of maintaining, which is really good. Um, so I'm really happy with that. And it's a good sign that you're maintaining a lot of your mass, your, a lot of your strength means that a lot of your muscle is maintaining, um, <clears throat> which is a, it's a good indicator of that at least. And by strength training, it's the best way to maintain as much mass as possible. A lot of people get 
the misperception that they should increase volume, increase frequency, and increase the amount of reps they're doing when it, that will just totally contradict what they're really trying to do. Um, the base core of my training is really low rep, uh, high intensity work, and then a bit of additional low intensity, higher rep work, um, just accessory movements. Um, the core foundation is deadlift, squat, and bench, nothing much else. So for the last eight weeks, this will be my eighth week on these same macronutrients, and every week bar one, I have lost weight. Um, so it's 190 to 210 protein, um, 420 to 440 carbohydrate, and um, 70 to 80 grams of fat, which comes to, I've been literally, in the first few weeks, I was kind of just hitting in those ballpark ranges, recently I have been pretty much bang on the lower ranges or trying to hit those as best as possible. Um, and uh, what I was going to say, it comes to about 3,100 calories there or thereabouts. Um, in that time, training hasn't increased. I've had some higher intense weeks, some lower intense weeks. My volume's changed a little bit, but nothing crazy. Um, I'm still doing one general physical practice session which is really quick, quite easy, and um, it's fairly quick and intense, but it's very enjoyable. I really like general physical practice. If you don't know what it is, just have a look up what it is. It's kind of like a body weight circuit, basically. You have like a hip hinge, a squat, um, a push, and a pull, and that's and maybe a core exercise, and that's pretty much it. Um, and then just one high intensity training session uh, or cardio, which is today. And again, that's just eight rounds of 30 seconds all out and then two to three minutes rest in between each of those. So that takes about half an hour overall with a bit of a warm up and cool down. Um, so training is not crazy. I feel I'm completely recovered all the time. The only thing I would say recently that's been snagging me, it's um, just my life in general, if you've noticed recently, is mega busy. Um, I've got, I picked up some new online clients um, which adds to my time uh, which is terrific I'm really enjoying and I can still take on more clients uh, even though I'm saying I haven't got that much time once I've got the clients and got them set up and running it's very um, it's quite easy just to keep them up to date and uh, keep them progressing towards their goals and once I've got like one it's easier to have a few more just because it kind of gives me this set time that I'll do that so if more people want uh, online coaching, I'm very happy to take on more people, I'm saying. Um, I've also got an one in-person nutrition client at the moment, which is much more uh, hands-on. Um, I'm taking her step-by-step -step through everything. Um, I'll be meeting up with her every two weeks, and that's really interesting. I'm loving it. Uh, rebuilding her metabolism is going to be fun um, for her especially and then we're going to be getting bringing her back down into a fat loss phase which is going to be really fun as well I just love helping people to progress to work towards their goals to be honest um, so that's taking a bit more time but I don't particularly mind that at all I'm also doing um, the precision nutrition certification which um, I'm lagging a bit behind with at the moment um, but I am intending to smash them out this Easter weekend, uh, get a good chapter or two done. Um, the thing that's been taking most of my time, as you've probably, I've been kind of insinuating in the last couple of videos, um, as I'm now in a relationship, so um, it takes time out. And obviously, any of you guys who are into your fitness and nutrition stuff know that in a relationship, you go out for meals, you um, spend more time, you are generally just doing more stuff um, you can't be as routine and rigid with your set like you're not just you're not being selfish just on you you have to include someone else in your time um, which is is great I, I don't regret it in sight as I've said this many times um, it's actually really helping me just um, allow me not to focus too heavily on myself in terms of nutrition and fitness and stuff it's like, it lets my life be a lot more flexible um, but it does mean like parties as well and things and just more social events. So I'm going to have to be a bit stricter on that as time comes. But at the moment, it's all quite good. Um, but yeah, that's taking uh, time. And so if she, I don't live, we don't live like crazy close. I mean, she lives in London. I don't, I live just outside. Um, so if I go and stay, it's 
diff sometimes I like, squeezing in gym sessions when I haven't got enough sleep. And that's something I haven't been getting enough of recently because of all this busyness is sleep. And I don't know how many of you know how important sleep is. And I, I've read articles and I've read um, literature on sleep and I know it's incredibly important. Like I know in my brain, like this, I need sleep massively. It affects so many different things. It can even impact my fat loss that I'm achieving at the moment. So it's like completely contradictory to my goals um, if I don't get enough. And enough, what is enough, it's generally six to eight hours or potentially even more than that. Um, and I've been probably averaging six recently, um, so right on that lower end. And I noticed that my hunger has definitely increased. Like, like the last week, I've not been getting enough sleep. Um, and every day I'm like, I want food, I want food. I don't think I'm actually hungry, as we said, like my body doesn't need food, but I've just been feeling hungry all the time. And I'm like, screw it, I'm just gonna eat. Because this is what I like about flexible dieting is I have a goal at the end of the day. And if I'm really hungry at certain times of the day and I'm just like, I'm just slagging, um, I need something, then I will eat because then I can just be like, later in the day, I'm just not gonna eat more. I'll just cut down what I'm eating later. And which is essentially not a problem, um, which is something I, I've been using a lot recently. But uh, Naughty Steve needs more sleep, and that is what I'm going to do um, coming up anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's how training is going well. Strength is pretty much maintaining. Nutrition has stayed flat. Not a lot has changed. Um, I have been noticing that I've been having more diet drinks. I generally stick to, like, two diet cans of drink a day um, and I've been increasing my coffee intake which has happened um, probably I don't go over three um, like servings of coffee a day I normally have an espresso before the gym um, and I've been making sure to keep up uh, supplementing with fish oil and uh, vitamin D it's pretty much all I've been taking on top of creatine and better alanine so that hasn't changed um, I know a lot of people think special fat burner supplements and things out there are going to make a big difference but trust me they don't um, and basically I've lost a stone very easily very flexibly um, been eating out once a week if not twice pretty much standard throughout my whole entire prep I'm not saying this is recommended it's just it can be done um, also drank alcohol virtually every single week, not necessarily always like getting hammered, but some days I do get a bit hammered. Um, also, the other week I did get a stomach bug and I was really sick, so that saw quite a big weight loss that week, but I did, um, am still seeing a weight loss this week at the moment. Um, so fingers crossed that will keep going. In the future, there looks like um, body power, I may be working on my friend's stall. He owns Physique, the clothing company, and it's an incredible brand. You might have seen, I've been wearing his t-shirt and other videos and things, but uh, that will be really fun, and I will also video document what's going on if I do go to that. I am not 100% sure I'm going to it. Um, so I have uh, Eric Helms, big news. I don't know why I've just thought of this. On Sunday, Eric Helms coming to London for his... Um, based like his seminar and after it's nine till six so fuck loads of information uh, sorry for the harsh language but needs to be said he is an incredible guy and educator it's perfect timing for me in my contest prep I'm sure I can ask him questions um, that are pressing on my mind because at the moment I'm at kind of a good point um, and I'm sure there in the near future there's like a point where you hit a wall and it's just like when all that moodiness comes in um especially for my first competition. So that'd be incredible. And then also training with some guys that evening. So I'll try and get that on footage as well. Um, potentially easy gym, I'm squatting and deadlifting. So that'd be really good. Um, also in the near future, I'm going to something called Rugby Sevens, um, where England will be playing in some small matches, which is, I think it's at Twickenham. Um, so that's a day out, I have to plan that in. And my birthday's next month, so I'll be doing something then as well. Um, so that's just a brief update for you. Uh, if you've got any questions, queries about like my online coaching or anything, um, or the precision nutrition certification that I am doing, 
for any of that stuff or my contest prep nutrition and stuff just ask um, I can maybe do a video on it and uh, I apologize for the lack of attention you guys are getting um, if you do follow my Facebook page um, I've only got about just under 300 likes on there and I've got over 600 followers on here which is awesome but if you do want um, continual updates of how I'm getting on how uh, and just information I put out quite a lot of information on that um, page as well each week um, please go and like that as well um, I appreciate it and uh, cheers guys let's keep this ball rolling and revive stronger